Hi, my name is Tamara and you are watching Language Lessons with Tamara and this is part two of the home supplies related vocabulary with examples that you can use in your daily life. Hey, do you remember where we put the sandpaper last time we used it? Sandpaper. 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 Mm, what is sandpaper? Mm. Hey, do you have any fresh paint rollers? I really need it. I think I want to repaint a few walls in my house walls and paint rollers roller hmm jak się wy na pewni się oznaczaje paint roller a takoż sandpaper ne chwilujtes to video ja same dla was tomu що ci ми video ми поговоримо саме про такі терміни а також я надаю декілька прикладів котрі я Сподіваюсь, що ви матимете нагоду вживати у вашому повсякденному житті при спілкуванні з англомовними співрозмовниками. А також нагадую, що для того, щоб краще і швидше запам'ятати усі ці приклади, намагайтесь вимовляти все вголосно, для того, щоб м'язи вашого рота та ваші вуха мали згоду звикати до англійської. Ну що ж, давайте перейдемо до прикладів. Fuses. The power in my house went out suddenly, and I had to check the fuses in the electrical panel. I replaced a brown fuse in my car's fuse box to restore functionality in the headlights. If you experience an electrical overload, the fuse is designed to blow and prevent damage to the circuit. The fuse to the kitchen appliances tripped, so I had to reset it to get the power back. Glue. I used glue to mend the broken handle on my coffee mug. I enjoy doing arts and crafts, so I always keep a bottle of glue handy for my projects. My shoe sole started coming off but I fixed it with adhesive glue. I need to stick the loose pages of my notebook together, so I'll use glue to secure them. Work gloves, gloves. I'm doing some gardening today, so I'll wear work gloves to protect my hands from 
thorns and dirt. When I paint walls, I always wear war gloves to keep my hands clean and prevent paint stains. I'm helping my friend move, so I wear war gloves to lift heavy furniture and protect my hands. Working in construction requires wearing work gloves to safeguard against sharp objects and potential hazards. Bug spray, insect spray. I'm going on a picnic, so I'll bring bug spray to keep mosquitoes away. I always apply bug spray before hiking to prevent insect bites during the summer. I noticed ants in my kitchen, so I sprayed bug spray along the baseboards to eliminate them. When camping, it's essential to have bug spray to ward off bugs and enjoy the outdoors comfortably. Roach Killer I discovered roaches in my kitchen. So, I used a roach killer spray to eliminate them. I'm dealing with a roach infestation in my apartment. So, I'm going to purchase a roach killer product to get rid of them. Roach killer traps are effective in capturing and eliminating roaches in the hard to reach areas. If you have a persistent roach problem, it might be necessary to hire professional pest control services for a targeted roach killer treatment. Sandpaper I'm refinishing a wooden table, so I'm using sandpaper to smooth the surface before applying a new coat of paint.
I accidentally spilled some nail polish on the floor and I need to use sandpaper to remove that dry residue. To achieve a smooth finish on my DIY project, I'll use fine grit sandpaper to polish the edges. The wooden door has some rough spots. So, I'll use sandpaper to make it smooth to the touch. Paint I am redecorating my living room. So, I bought a can of paint in a lovely shade of blue. The walls in my bedroom are looking dull, so I'm planning to give them a fresh coat of paint. I enjoy painting as a hobby and I often experiment with different colors and techniques. Before painting, it's important to prepare the surface by cleaning it and applying a primer. Paint thinner. I spilled some paint on the floor and I used paint thinner to clean it up. After completing my painting project, I used paint thinner to clean the brushes and remove any leftover paint. The paint on the old furniture is peeling, so I'm considering using paint thinner to strip off the old layers. If you accidentally get paint on your clothing, you can use paint thinner to try and remove the stain. Paint brush, brush. I'm going to start painting the walls, so I need to grab a paint brush to apply the paint. I enjoy painting landscapes and I use different sizes of paint brushes to add details and textures. Before beginning a painting project, it's important to wet the paint brush to ensure smooth and even strokes.
To clean my paintbrushes, I rinse them with water and gently remove any excess paint. Paint pen. I poured some paint into the paint pen to make it easier to drip my paintbrush and apply the paint to the walls. When painting a room, it's helpful to have a paint pen to hold the paint and prevent spills. After finishing the first coat, I cleaned the paintbrush and emptied the remaining paint from the paint pen. I accidentally knocked over the paint can, but fortunately most of it landed in the paint pen, minimizing the mess. Paint roller. I'm painting the ceiling, so I'm using a paint roller to cover a large area quickly and efficiently. To achieve a smooth finish on the walls, I'm using a paint roller to apply the paint evenly. I prefer using a paint roller for large surfaces like doors and cabinets to save time and effort. After using the paint roller, it's important to clean it thoroughly to remove any dried paint for future use. Spray gun. I'm refinishing a piece of furniture, so I'm using a spray gun to apply an even coat of paint. The walls in my new apartment needed a fresh look, so I used a spray gun to quickly and evenly cover them with paint. Using a spray gun, I applied a waterproof sealant to protect the exterior of my house. I enjoy gardening and I use a spray gun to apply fertilizers and pesticides to my plants efficiently.
Дякую, що додивились це відео до кінця. Це була друга частина Home Supplies, чи предмети домашнього вжитку. І я сподіваюся, що це відео стане для вас в нагоді. Якщо вам воно сподобалось, не забувайте натиснути на сам зап. Це дуже допомагає мені. А також не забувайте поділитися відео з усіма тими людьми, котрі зараз вивчають англійську мову. І, звісно, я сподіваюся, що ви вже підписалися на цей канал. І я дуже сподіваюся, що я побачу вас наступного разу. І у вас все добре виходить. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.